Namaste, hello. The translation that is provided in this document is in accordance with the intended meaning of Sri Swami Dev Murti Ki. My understanding is based on my status as a student of Mr. Jack Bolton and Mr. John Moore in the UK and also as a grand student of Sri Swami Dev Murti Ji in India. Please note that a literal translation is not always possible or appropriate due to linguistic and cultural differences between Hindi in India and English in the UK. The humour that is expressed by Swamiji is especially difficult to translate, but it is hilarious when it is understood. For the rest of this video, if I refer to Swamiji, it means Sri Swami Dev Murtiji. There is no claim that this represents a full and complete translation. There are a few sentences, but not by Swamiji, uh, and several words, also not by Swamiji, uh, which have not been translated. Any errata or requests for clarification can be sent to me for acknowledgement and resolution at Bavin dot desi at ntlworld.com So this is the Swami Dev Murtiji lecture in Rishikesh translation from Hindi into English. If it's possible you can follow the original video in Hindi as well as this translation. So all of this is from the point of view of Swamiji, so he's the one speaking. Pay attention, please. My entire life's research is on this topic. So he is considering humans, which is insan, animals, which is heaven, spirits, Shaitan, land, Jameen, space, Asman, and God, Bhagwan. So all of this is in scope of Swamiji's life's research. I have brought all of them into the center as the focus for my research. Could one young person please stand up? Please be quiet, this is my work, don't interfere in my work. Now, what has happened? If blind children are born, then blind schools are opened for them. And similarly, deaf people have deaf hospitals. And mad people are kept in the madhouse. Heart trouble, heart trouble, everyone is bypassing. Men wake up in the morning and cut their moustache, which is mooch in Hindi, and beard. Look, look uh, to, towards the audience. And ladies have cut their long hair called the uh, goot. So Swamiji is saying ma ki goot nahi, ba ki much nahi, to kuch nahi. If mother doesn't have long hair and father doesn't have moustache, then you have nothing. Everything has been destroyed. Come with me 
without making any noise. <clears throat> it is necessary not to make any noise. I will fix your tape recorder in your mind. When Shikhandi made the whole Mahabharat lose. For the reference to Shikhandi, you will need to read Mahabharat. Look, there is no man, i.e. with a moustache, left in this country. This was Bharat's country. The country was named Bharat Varsh. There was one brave, courageous man, Bir Bahadur, one. He, Hanuman, went to Lanka to give a blow or strike and returned. He gave his moustache, Much, and his tail, Uch. You have lost both of them. No much and no butch. Your car doesn't even have a number. We are embarrassed because we don't know who we are talking to. Every time there is something else going on. When the electricity is off, then daddy has no much and mummy has no much. So we can't tell the difference. You have destroyed your children, fighting with the children, fighting with the country. Ladies and sisters are going around with bracelet, the Raki, for their brothers. Men have a bracelet, Raki, for the whole year, but no one has a much. You have destroyed your own children and fighting with children, fighting with the country. But brothers, sisters, parents, in-laws, no one has much. You have all made everything mixed up or a kitchen. Remember, never make a mistake in your whole life like this. Jungle ki shoba jali se. The characteristics of a jungle is its trees. Mata ki shoba sari se. The characteristic of a mother is her sari. Rogi ke ki shoba nadi se. The characteristic of a sick person is their pulse. Mard much or daddy se. The characteristics of a man is his moustache and beard. This is followed by applause. Come, how can we make a new Bharat, i.e. India, again? Those golden keys that are required, I am going to give you. You should get to sleep within one minute. You should finish the toilet within two minutes. Waste is stuck in the body and money is stuck in the mind. Whoever studied BA is Bevakuf, i.e. without knowledge or an idiot or stupid. Um, just as background, this is a bit of Swamiji's humour. Uh, so BA is Bekuf, FA is fool, MA is mad, higher secondary is higher stupid, BCOM is Bekom. Whoever studied to 10th standard is 10 times as naughty. Chemical is comical or come akka i.e. less intelligent. Medical is mad akal or crazy intelligent. 
uh, robber, listen, robber, doctor, devil, drug, disease, desire, divorce. On the signboard is written Dr. Med, England written or written mad. If you go to the doctor, they will cut your stomach and cut your pocket too, i.e. the um, expenses. Then after many injections, you will be put in hospital or in hospital another of Swamiji's uh, jokes, where everyone is laughing in the underworld or netherworld. Then they will make you write that, because my teaching, if you learn then, but if you don't learn then, whatever there is with you, fake doctors who are feeding you fake medicine, I will show you one herb such that you will never have a disease in your whole life. So this is another classical verse. Tusi yetan ket he. Tusi is saying to himself that this body is the field. Man bachkar kisan. So mind, speech and action are the farmers in this six foot or two meter field. Pa punya do beach he. So sin, which is a bad action, and virtue, which is the good action, are the two seeds to be planted in the field. Bohe soye sujan, or alternatively, yehe tere kalyan. So, whatever you sow, you will reap, or the alternative line is this is your welfare or path to liberation. In each and every sentence, the masters have included the whole world teaching. But we are stupid because having studied English, we say, hi, hi, as if someone had died in the house. Uh, this is from the Indian culture. So, hi, hi, dead he. So, daddy sounds like dead he. So, dead is already dead. The Father has already cut his own moustache and has himself caused his own destruction. Then, hi, mummy. Mother has become a mommy, an auntie in Hindi, an extended family member. Confusing sister and brother marriage. Mother says, don't say mommy. Say, mummy, I saw in Egypt. I have visited 40 countries. Even now I can run 100 kilometers at a time. You are all just sitting and saying hello to the defense minister. Why don't you fix your number 11 bus, i.e the legs for walking, and fix yourself too. Your number 11 bus has stopped working properly and needs to be repaired. Try your best. The best pill is your goodwill. Pay attention. The best pill is your goodwill. Whoever has a will, he has a way. <clears throat> now I will explain to you the method of how to sleep using a key which has been discovered. This key is so beautiful 
that if you practice it when going to bed at night, you will quickly begin a good night of restful and energizing sleep. So why have you come down? You go up, you go and stand up, don't be afraid, go further up. Here, tall man with long arms and long name, extend your long arms. You don't even need a ladder, have a look. Uh, this is regarding holding the uh, poster up for Swamiji as a reference point. Keep a moustache from now, uh, from today or tomorrow. Come on, please maintain silence or shanti and pay attention. Now you p please pay attention. As you eat sweet products, the sugar goes into your joints and bones. Then there is pain, rheumatism, etc. 5,000 diseases have been recorded by medical doctors and Ved and Hakim. Let go, leave it here. Keep all the calendars, i.e. posters, there, bring all of them. So he wants to be a minister without a moustache. Everything is destroyed. I will shut down all the hospitals. You will be astonished. Open more of the posters. Hold this one. Very good. This is a picture of an ear, isn't it? Everyone hold your own ears and massage them. Don't make a noise. Look this way to see how it is done how to massage the ears. Parents can do this for their children. You will never get any disease in your life. So one of the students is saying, Swamiji, I want to tell you that I am a disciple for 47 years. I am a retired allopathic doctor from Haryana and Punjab. There you go, the arms and legs are all correct, the knees are bent, and this is your backbone, i.e. spinal cord. Pay attention please. Now observe how and why the animals were saved. The animal's head and spine is horizontal. But our head and spine is vertical, and so the heat goes upwards. We are all pleased to meet Guru Swami Dev Murti Ji here today. Now pay attention, the real point is coming now. Then your false teeth will all go into your stomach another of Swami's, um, Swamiji's uh, humour. You would laugh so much that your false teeth will go all down. Please become silent. There is an English word, tension. Please can anyone explain the meaning of this word? So the audience says, Das uh, Baccia or thus bache, meaning ten sons. Now show me how many sons do you have? And most people are saying two. So when you have ten sons, you will have ten son, ten shun. Ten son, when you have become the father of ten sons and have ten shun, then what can I tell you about tension? Two sons are enough. The factory is closed for the future. 
and your moustache is cut, you have achieved total destruction. This is a wife situation and fighting with children, yourselves and the country. When you get to Yam Raj, the god of death, he will attempt to find the file, i.e. for you. Who is this from Lucknow without a moustache? Okay, come on, I will show you the best position for sleeping. Lie down on your stomach, i.e. the front side of your body. Pay attention, leave the poster on the floor. There you are, pay attention now please. Also keep this here. All animals sleep on the stomach, i.e. the front of the body, don't they? And this is a big animal with a bit of uh, humour. So, uh, hitting the right heel against the right buttock and the left heel against the left buttock. Strike, 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 one at a time. Then with the other leg, yes, with force. And continue with alternate legs. There is, in Hindi, Saas, which is mother-in-law, in some families. But why has the name Saas been used? It is because the Saas, or mother-in-law, closes or stops the Saas, or breath, of the Bahu, or daughter-in-law. So Swamiji is comparing Sas as mother-in-law with Sas as uh, breathing. On the first meeting, the Sas or mother-in-law comes with an arati to welcome the Bahu or daughter-in-law at the front door of the home after the marriage. Once the Bahu is inside the house, then the Sas has her own plans without thinking about whether the daughter-in-law has brought anything, or is hungry, or needs a change of clothing, etc. Mother-in-law does not appear to fully understand that the daughter-in-law has left her own house and family, and relatives, and friends, etc. And hence needs support. Uh, the Bahu, or daughter-in-law, will be helping to build the mother-in-law's future family, including children, grandchildren, etc. The mother-in-law should be showing appreciation by washing the feet of the daughter-in-law. Now, when you go home, Sas should lie down on the front of the body and you hit her like this. So, jokingly, Swamiji is saying you can express and release all of your anger. So, striking on the bottom, uh, alternatively. Seriously, at the same time, you can provide a service to Sas, i.e. the mother-in-law, so that the pain, etc. decreases. So any pain in the body um, will decrease by this massage. If the Sas, mother-in-law, is too big, she will not be able to sufficiently reach to uh, strike with the feet. So not everyone can hit their heels on their bottom. Uh, that's why you may need someone else to use their hands 
and fist. The mother-in-law will get service and uh, will give blessings. So another method is strike with both legs simultaneously, so both heels hitting the bottom at the same time, which is called a toda or hammer sing. If I hit teda, which means bent or crooked sin, with a toda or hammer sin, he will become siddha or straight sin. Whoever does it. So this is the benefit of this uh, heel to bottom uh, striking exercise. After the age of 17, the spinal cord starts to shrink and hence the height gradually gets reduced over time. Whoever does this exercise can help maintain their spinal cord and health and height. It's especially useful for children and they can grow to seven feet tall However, it can and should be practiced by everyone. Now I will show you one more key. Lie down on your backside, i.e. on the spinal cord. Lie down like this. Sit up, please. So Swamiji is saying, I can't see or find a, a red book. And someone says, there it is. And Swamiji is saying, where is it? Is that red? Where is it? Where is the cover? Do the following number seven crocodile exercise. So head goes to the right, knees go to the left, and then vice versa. So Sirdai Gutnabai in Hindi. So at the full stretch, you can keep it there for a few seconds on each side. Oh brother, he's saying to the demonstrator, uh, keep a much, then you can go to your in-laws. Here is the key. So do the twist to open the lock. So twist is opening the lock and then light or Roshni will start to come in. Head right, knees left and vice versa. Pay attention please. Keep a much so that you can get a bride. He's telling the young boys. Please don't go as a bride without having a much. Don't cause double trouble for the country. And there's a short uh, distraction. Now look over here. See this body position. See this cloth and see how it is twisted when doing the washing. So when people do hand washing, they normally twist the cloth. And it's the same movement in the crocodile exercises. Swamiji is saying this is a twist for the peace. So it wasn't clear whether he meant um, peace as in Shanti or peace as in the spinal cord, we, we don't know. When you do head right, knees left, this exercise massages and opens up each of the 24 vertebrae of the spinal cord. Uh, in yoga, uh, there are 24 vertebrae. Um, other people may count different numbers. Uh, for example, in the medical sciences, there may be a different number. This exercise, i.e. head right, knees left, 
and vice versa, will help to increase the height of children as they grow up. One minute moving head right, knees left exercise. One minute moving the stomach or abdomen in and out. So you can do one minute, literally, but you can do more if you want. So head right, knees left, uh, while lying on the floor. And then stomach exercises, there's various naoli, rolling, udyanban, etc. exercises. So everyone can do that in the morning. Um, even if it's only one minute each, so one minute head right, knees left, and vice versa, and one minute of uh, stomach or abdomen exercises. So uh, the following is a little joke by Swamiji. Uh, the stomach is like Pakistan. So whatever it takes, it continues to expand and fill the space around it. Then he's explaining about uh, the stomach exercise in and out. There will be no hospitals remaining, no patients remaining, and no beggars remaining. No one will remain unuseful or bekar. Those three things I will clean and clear up by 20 litres of water. You will get so much pleasure and enjoyment for 24 hours. Keep the children a bit happy uh, with a smiley face. Uh, laugh with a bit more force. So everyone starts laughing with more force, with more force, with more force. And in the video, uh, Sri Ravi Shankar is shown in the audience, just for background interest. So there's 12 units. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha Enough, enough, enough. Be careful that your teeth don't fall out. Again, Swamiji making a little joke. Now laugh with the mouth closed, making a sound like a horse. So it was uh, a relatively high pitched. with the mouth closed, uh, laughing sound like a horse. Enough. Then uh, the way a cat meows, do that with full force. So everyone's trying the meow, meow, meow. Enough, 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 okay, enough. Now, how does a dog bark? Bark like a dog. So everyone's trying. Woof, woof, woof. And so on. Enough, enough, enough. Listen, you can sit down now. Then there's a little bit of distraction. The history that we teach our children when they go to sleep at night. When I was young, my father said, Dave, and I said, yes, father, or G Pitaji. There is a story in the Mahabharata epic that Bhimsen threw an elephant up in the air. It was night time. And I said, the elephant cannot be seen. No one could see it. So 
So his father said, it has gone very far up and was going around and round uh, in orbit. So where does this energy come from that made him so strong and brave that Bhim Sen could throw an elephant up into space, into orbit? Therefore, please don't give children names like uh, Tiktu, Pappu, Cat, Dog, etc. Uh, Swamiji is suggesting to give um, powerful names to children uh, and respectable names. These things are worth considering and understanding. Whatever sound goes into our ears, that has power. Hari Singh Nalwa. Uh, you may want to look up on Wikipedia. Hari Singh Lalwa. Now I will show you two or three more things. What is the importance of singing or kirtan? What is the importance of Sat Sri Akal? No one knows. With your two hands, you have to do kirtan with the whole family. In your two hands are the energy points for all the organs of the body. How do we do kirtan? Each family should do kirtan with enthusiasm. Hariyom, Hariyom. First read the mantra. Hariyom, Hariyom, Mera Japte Rom, Rom. This mantra has been given by the masters. As you clap your hands, all the organs in the body become healthy, strong and conscious or chitan. Whatever is wrong becomes all right. Hari Om, Hari Om, Mera Japte Rom, Rom. 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 Enough. When I explained this mantra to the people in Europe, they often did this kirtan for eight hours or more at a time. And news reached the Pope that a Baba, or a holy man, had come over and brought a new disease, in quotes. So 20 policemen came to me and they asked, what disease is this? I said, there is no disease in the world. Uh, that's a different lecture as well. Uh, Swamiji believes there is no disease in the world. And he gives a, a justification and rationale. They asked, what is this Hari Om, Hari Om? I said, Hari is, or sounds like, a word in English, and Om is, or sounds like, a word in English. So Hari Om means, or sounds like, Hari Home. So go home quickly. Therefore, hurry home, hurry home, mera japte Rome, Rome. And Rome, by chance, sounds similar to Rome in Italy. So this mantra means go home, be, come relaxed, and don't forget the Pope's Rome home. Uh, 
they said that I was doing their publicity or prachar. I was called to the Vatican by the Pope. I thought that perhaps they also wanted some training in yoga. Now the question is this, when I said head right, knees left, do you remember that exercise? So I showed him that when Jesus was on the cross, the right foot was on the left foot, um, both twisting left and the head was to the right. I said, when Jesus was going from this world, being crucified, he was showing this exercise of the spinal cord. Then he became very happy, just very happy, saying that, brother, this is great, that the head is here and the feet are there, head right and knees left. Head right and knees left then your spinal cord, backbone, will rotate and move around and get exercise. Then the third eye will become open, the tenth door will become open, Ida, Pingala, Shushumna will become clear. Therefore, you will get full well-being, the country will rise up, and our Sanskritic culture will be re-established. So not only for the world, uh, not only for the country, but for the world. Om Shanti 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 Om. So that's the end of the video translation. Uh, I'll just mention the types of yoga. Swamiji often refers to. Uh, there are 13 of these. So, Raja Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Mantra Yoga, Tantra Yoga, Gyan Yoga, Dhyan Yoga, Kriya Yoga, Agni Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Shakti Yoga, Pratak Yoga, Bindu Yoga, and Kundalini Yoga. If you want a copy of this document, uh, you are welcome to uh, send me an email and I'll send you the, uh, either the PDF or the doc document. <coughs> okay, hurry on. Namaste.